Hello and welcome to Cruising with Kate. I am currently on week six of my consecutive cruises. I have a couple more to go. I'm starting to get a little sad actually because it feels like I'm nearing the end, but I will be back on this ship for one of the Alaska cruises. So I'm really looking forward to that because it'll give me an opportunity to see some familiar faces again and just be on the ship. I've grown to really love this ship. Uh, the solstice, so I'm looking forward to that a lot. And I haven't been to Alaska in quite a few years, over 10 at least, um, and it's been even longer since I did an Alaska cruise. I think the last time I did one of those was almost 20, so I'm really, really excited to have a veranda room for that cruise and just look out my window and see all the amazing scenery, because if you haven't been to Alaska before, it's so gorgeous. All right, uh, so today I wanted to talk about the Sea Pass card. Now, this card is what allows you to come on and off the ship as well as make purchases while you're on board. So it's it's pretty important. You definitely don't want to forget it in your bag if you have to leave the ship. Uh, put it. It's it's best to put it in an easily accessible place. That way you can pull it out for security quickly and you're not holding at the line, uh, digging through your bag and trying to figure out where it is. All right, so some key information on this card. There's obvious things like your name, the ship, the cruise date. Now, if we come down to this longer digit number down here, that's what's called the folio number. And from my experience, the only time I've needed to interact with that number is when purchasing internet on the ship. They will ask for your folio number when they ask for your name and the other things on the app. So it's just good to know where it is, but it changes every cruise, so it's not really that important of a number. All right, down here, they will list your beverage package, whether that's zero proof, meaning non-alcoholic, classic, which is the lesser premium drinks, and then premium, which is the more premium drinks. Um, or you might not have anything at all if you didn't purchase a beverage package. However, if you order drinks at any of the bars, the servers will ask to see your card just because they want to make sure they charge you or don't charge you correctly. All right, coming over here, we have the muster station. What that is is your safety location in case there's any kind of emergencies on the ship. So, for example, it might be the theater or one of the restaurants on the ship. On embarkation day, they will have you go down to that location and scan your card just to ensure you know where it is, um, along with doing some safety briefings on the app. But it's listed here in case something happens and you forget. All right, this three digit number, I didn't know what that one was for a pretty long time actually. It's simply the last three digits of your stateroom number. So say you're on 7344, It'll just say 344, I'm assuming so that if, you know, you lose your card, someone, it's less likely that they're going to come and try to find your room. But if you happen to be wandering the ship at 2 in the morning and you can't remember where your room is, as long as you can remember which floor you're on, just take a look at your card, it'll help you out. Your other option is to ask pretty much any crew member especially the ones that work in the bars. There's a really good chance that they know your room number better than you do. It's magic. I don't know how they remember so many room numbers, but it's really amazing. All right, and then we have this two-digit number at the top. That one is a bit of a mystery to a lot of people, but I did find out what it is, and it is your housekeeping section. So it's really not that exciting, but just kind of interesting to know. Then they will list your captain's club and or casino membership levels on the card. I don't currently belong to the casino, but it would say something like select slash onyx if I did. They'll put both of them on there. One thing about the captain's club membership levels is that if you're doing back-to-back -back cruises, it can sometimes take weeks for those points to show correctly, and that means if you do move up tiers between different cruises, it's probably not going to reflect accurately when you get on the ship. But if that's something that you want to have updated, 
especially if you want to make sure you're invited to those events. Uh, you can just talk to any of the officers down in the captain's club area and they'll run down to guest relations and get you a new card really quickly um, with the correct membership level if that's something that needs to be changed. They're amazing with that. All right, so like I said, I usually put this in the outer pocket of my backpack just because I'm not as worried about it getting stolen if I'm out at a port somewhere, but it's still easily accessible for getting on and off the ship. And just always good to have it out and ready to give to any crew member who might be taking your drink orders rather than making them ask for it every time. It would be really nice if Celebrity had those scanning stations kind of like for credit cards nowadays where you can just kind of scan the card and walk away and not it's the no touch type thing i would love to see that as maybe a future improvement in the system because then you don't have crew members touching the cards of each guest in between the drinks and other things they're touching that would maybe make it even more of an excellent experience and be faster too so if you have any questions about the CPASS card or consecutive cruising, anything in general, feel free to put it in the comments, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.